Hi and welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 16 of Build the Terminator. The Terminator, week by week, built the T-800, the killing machine that defined a generation. Easy to build with high quality metal components. You can control sound, lights, articulated limbs and LED eyes and explore the Terminator universe. Build the Terminator, issue one, just $1.99. Welcome back guys and girls, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Build the Terminator. We're now on episode 16, so really starting to build momentum now and get closer to that episode 22 that I keep promising. I should be receiving um, the next four issues soon, so actually I'm going to work on building up to 26, so then you can see even more uh, of a substantial build coming together. But I've still got a couple more um, for this week, so I'm doing 16 today and I've also got 17 and 18 coming out soon. So without further ado, let's show you the parts and let's get started. So another relatively short issue today, but nonetheless, it's gonna definitely increase the amount of the lower arm coming together. So as I mentioned in last week's episode at the end, um, we've got two components here from previous um, issues. So this is um, the, the joints, the arm joint from an issue seven, and also you've got the, uh, the muscles and lower arm joint from uh, issue 14. So these are going to be included in today's issue because uh, we'll be attaching these components here. So um, starting from the top, we have uh, component 16.1. This is the primary component for the lower arm. Uh, we also have three um, other components here, which are 16.3. These are the lower arm components. Then moving up to the little components here, you've got the, the washers. So we've got three of those uh, plastic ones. And then we've also got um, two uh, metal spring washers, so they're going to be used also. Then moving along, you've got uh, component 16.2, which is the lower arm notched ring. And onto the screws, we've got, as always, we've got some PM screws. These are the uh, the large ones here. Uh, they are three times two millimeter screws. And then also you've got the smaller ones, which are PB two times six millimeter. Um, obviously with the screws we've always got one spare so let's get started so steps one to four really easy nice and simple so you're going to be taking uh, this component here which is 7.2 from as I mentioned before issue 7 and you'll see here at the bottom there are some some holes for the pegs to go in this is obviously um, component 16.2 which will fit nicely into the area so slim simply just align that up slide it on and attach the pins push the pins through the connectors and there you go that is that part complete next up you're going to take component 16.1 and you're just going to line that up with uh, 7.2 and you'll see there's just a hole there if you can see not too shiny and then just place that in there So what you want to do is you just want to have a, this. There's a little, there's a little hole there, a slight dent. Just to line up with the lines. It's going to feel loose at the moment because it's not, it's not secured. Obviously, in here we have to, we have to line up the next component, and we'll be screwing it in. But that is that part complete. So moving on to steps five and seven, we're going to be taking the the lower arm component with the muscles from issue fourteen, and we're going to be attaching it to sixteen one. So as I mentioned before, you'll see that there is a screw uh, component within there. And this is obviously where we'll be placing that through. So just make sure you align it as seen in the photo before. So when I mentioned you have the, the hole which runs along here, facing all the way down. And then you're just gonna push this, push this through like so. And then you need to take uh, one washer, which is the little metal washer and also a PM 3 times 12 millimeter screw. So I'm just gonna put the washer, washer on first on the little hole. Okay, that's aligned. Sorry, it's a bit difficult to show you on that. And then I'm just gonna grab the screw. And I'm gonna shove that through my hands. Okay, 
Okay, that's now in line, and I'm just going to screw that in to secure it. Okay, now that is secure, that is that part complete, we can move on to the final steps. So for the final steps, steps 8 and 9, we're going to be taking uh, the component 16 free, so these are the further lower arm components, and then what we want to do, it, we are asked to take one PM screw, sorry PB screw, which is the 2 times 6 millimeter, and one washer. So we're going to place the washer over the end of the component, and you'll see there's a recess that just wants to fit on there. Should fit on there nice and snug. And then once you've done that, take one of the screws. And tighten it up. Make sure you don't over tighten it because obviously we want to have some movement there. Okay, that one's done, and then what you want to do, you can do the same with the other two, and then you can move on to the other section where you add it on. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, and that's number three complete. Yep, it's not too tight, so the, the little washer can still move. I'm just going to double check one of them because it wasn't on too, too well. Screw this one in a bit more. Obviously, don't over tighten it, but the screws need do need to be in in well. So, okay. So now that all those washers and screws are in place, very simply, you're just going to take uh, the lower arm component here with the muscles, and you see, obviously, these tubes here will be just placing each component into there, and the washers will hold them in. So you'll you'll hear there's a little bit of friction there and that's what's going to keep it held in. So there's movement, but there's not too much movement. So let's put that one in there. That's the last one. And that's the issue complete. So thanks for tuning in to another issue. 16 is now complete. Like I said, quite a quick one, uh, which is good so we can carry on moving on. Looking forward to seeing this lower arm be connected to the upper arm. Should be quite interesting to see how that comes together. And I imagine it's gonna be very large. Obviously, as I told you before, the, it's a one to scale. So it's gonna be quite large uh, when complete. Three, three to four foot, I think it was. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, so for next week's episode, we're gonna be working on the cranium uh, here. So just bring that up. So you've got the cranium here, and then also we'll be working on um, some ball joints for the wrist. So I imagine where we can connect that to the arm. So looking forward to that. These are the parts here. So again, and it'll be another quick issue, so we can move on to 18 and so on. But if you did like the episode, please do remember to subscribe, like and share if you haven't already. Also leave some comments um, below if you've got any ideas for, for the, my videos or just want to share in, a, in the build really. So until next time, have a good weekend guys and I'll see you soon for episode 17.